We're creating repeating patterns today using elements from original artwork. And these are some of the designs we can make from this piece of art. And I'm just going to go through how I did this. And the first step is to pull the individual elements out. And with this drawing, it was a little bit tricky because a lot of the things were layered under or over. So I had to pick the things where they were for the most part whole. And um, I'm using a software tool here called Inkscape. And Inkscape is free software. You too can download this and use it yourself. There's some great tutorials out there. Um, the YouTube channel that I use most is Iron Echo Designs. He does a lot of very specific tutorials on Inkscape. And the two that I've been watching are how to remove the background from a shape which is how I pulled each of these flowers. And then this is how to create a repeating pattern. And we're only gonna use that one half flower. You see two there, but that's the same design flipped over um, to make this particular pattern. And then I'll show you a whole bunch more that I've made. Um, this is really a fun process. I wasn't sure if I was gonna be able to figure out how to do it, but once I did, I have been having a lot of fun with it. Now what I'm doing there is putting two flowers together to the half flowers to make a single flower, grouping it so now it acts as a single unit and I can incorporate whole flowers and half flowers here. So kind of the concept is sort of like putting tile on your floor that has a design that has to match. So you can see there at the top I've already got one flower off the edge and the key there is to repeat the exact same position of that flower on the line across from it. So that way when we tile this, they'll match up and you won't be able to see the difference. So anytime I go over the edge, I have to replicate that on the opposite side. And you'll see me do that several times. And then it's just a matter of playing with the shapes and the sizes. You can resize them up or down. You can spin them around. And um, I spent some time just trying to fill in the square, kind of trying to make the space between all the shapes fairly even. So it's fun to play with and it's fun. I could have used multiple shapes here, but I just wanted to see what I could do with a single one. And the background color there, um, you'll see when I back off and, and do other backgrounds for the same design. Um, they have a little dropper so you can go into the original piece of art and pull any color from it and so that's how I chose all the colors for all the backgrounds so they make the different parts of the shape stand out I really like the way when you put the same design on a different background color it, it can look totally different So we're almost finished up placing these flowers and when we're done with that the next step is going to be we're going to um, select all of them so um, we can put them together as a group just like we did with those two half flowers to make the whole flower we're going to put all of the pieces that are on this tile together in one group so that they'll stay that way and then we will get rid of all that excess around the outside. you can see that I'm putting clicking on all of them so I can group them together now I'm duplicating that purple I'm gonna pull it over here and go ahead and pick out the other background colors I want to have with this this design we're gonna do experiment with three different ones so the purple is kind of a, it's a medium dark, so this is a lighter one, and then we'll choose a, the darkest color we can find on that flower.
and then we just did the step to get rid of that um, outside border and now we're going to um, group that all together so it will also operate as a single square um, and now we're going to change the color of another one and that's what the gray background looks like and you see how that tried to pull apart the reason that happened is because I didn't group those together before I moved on so I've done that now and I can change the background of that one to be the dark color so the next step is to see what do they look like when they're all laid out in a tiled set so we're going to do the, the purple one first And I've already done this several times with other designs, so I've got it preset. We're going to do three across and two down to see what it looks like. And there you go. It makes a great overall design. So let's try the other two. One more, this dark one. I like how the light part of the petals really stand out on this dark background. So there you have it, the three designs from this one tile that was created from this one half flower. And so now we're going to look at some others I've done. You can see I went a little crazy on some of them, and I'm showing you here how I had to copy them identically to make them work across the tile and use different background colors here as well. I added some dots to this one. I, I think that turned out to look kind of like a 1930s print. I enjoyed that one. And as you can see, I mean, the sky is the limit on how many different ways you can put this together to make different designs. And I like being able to do this. And so you might ask, what would you do with this once you finished it? Well, what I've done is I've set myself up a shop over on Redbubble where these designs exist. And Redbubble is a print on demand and they can put these designs on any number of products. So it's a really fun way to you know, I guess expand the use of your original artwork and I'm having a lot of fun with it. YouTube is going to give you a video on the left and a playlist on the right and I hope you'll choose one of those. Thank you so much for joining me today.